This might be the coolest way to control your smart home. Meet the new Acara Cube T1 Pro. It supports Alexa and yes, of course, HomeKit, meaning you can use it to control any of your smart home accessories or scenes. Today, we're gonna take a look at setting this thing up to do just that and be sure to stick around because towards the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a little tip for using this to also control your Siri shortcuts, making this possibly the ultimate companion for any Mac or desk setup. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Shane, if this is your first time here, and this channel is all about building an easy Apple Home smart home with new videos published every Sunday and live streams every Wednesday. Thanks to Acara for sponsoring today's video and sending me out this new Acara Cube T1 Pro so I could try it early and share it with you guys here on the channel. I have long awaited for their Cube to support HomeKit and uh, it's finally here. Now, this is the new Cube T1 Pro, and basically it's Acara's follow-up to the original Acara Magic Cube, which has been around for a while, but did not have native HomeKit support. So this one comes with all of the functionality of the original Magic Cube, plus, you know, some pretty sweet upgrades, including, of course, that HomeKit support. It's priced at $22.99 US on Amazon and is available to purchase right now. There's a limited time promo code that I'll put in the description below where you can save, you know, a few bucks if you decide this is something you wanna to add to your smart home. It's about the same size and weight as the original Magic Cube. It does require an Acara hub and it connects via Zigbee 3.0 to that hub. I connected mine to the Acara M1 S hub, but you can use any of the Acara Zigbee hubs. In the box, we get the cube. We also get this little tool, which is used for opening the cube to change out the battery or to pair the device. And we have a user manual. To pair the device, just add a new accessory in the Acara app and choose the hub that you want to add it to. You'll then have to pop open the cube with that little tool and press the pairing button. Now, one of the big differences between the new cube and the original version, other than, of course, HomeKit support, is that this one not only supports all of the action modes that the original did, but this one also has a scene mode that gives you 10 programmable scenes that you can configure. All right, so let me explain. In the Acara app, you have to choose either action mode or scene mode when you set this thing up. You can change it anytime, uh, and you do have to use one or the other. You can't use both. Action mode, just like the original cube, allows you to program the following actions. Flip 90 degrees, flip 180 degrees, tap twice, push, shake, rotate, and triggered after one minute of inactivity. Now, this is important to note that just like the original Magic Cube, this one does not support HomeKit when you have the device configured in action mode. So if you put the cube in action mode, it will not be available in HomeKit to program with your HomeKit accessories and automations. And I assume that's probably just because HomeKit really doesn't have, you know, I imagine a good way to handle these types of unique gestures or actions. So that's where scene mode comes in. And in the Acar app, once you select scene mode, the cube will then be available in your Apple Home app. And scene mode basically gives you six scenes that you can configure all in HomeKit. And you trigger these automations based on which side is facing up when you place the cube you know, on a surface. If we view the cube accessory in the Home app, we can see that we now have these dots that we can configure. I really love how clear it is by just showing us you know, one dot, two dots, three dots, so on and so forth. This is acting very much like uh, you know, how a smart button does in HomeKit. I think that's basically how HomeKit sees this device. That's why you see the single press as the configurable option under each one. To configure each side of your cube, choose which HomeKit accessories or scenes you would like to configure for that side of your cube, and that's it. All right, so I wanna give you guys just a little demo of this working. All right, so we got two little lamps here, just dumb bulbs in these, and each one is plugged into a HomeKit smart plug, all right? And I've configured my little cube here to do a few different things, so let's go ahead and test it out. I've programmed the single button, which is basically the Acara logo, if we find it there. I hope you can see that. So that's our single dot. I'll set that down, and it triggers this light. 
Uh, the two dots, which is right here, will trigger this light. And I programmed three dots right here to turn them both off. Okay, so let's do that again. One dot, pretty quick, two dots, not bad, and three dots. All right, so not bad now. Uh, I went ahead and programmed, let's see, four dots to turn off my background lights and five dots should turn them back on. There we go. And so you can see, uh, and the, the response is actually pretty quick. So of course this is gonna be determined on what devices your program, like I said, these are plugged into uh, just why I think Wi-Fi smart plugs. Uh, so if you're using something like thread it might be a little faster But the response from this is actually quite fast now in the Akar app you get access to a few more gestures uh, For automation even when using that scene mode now these extra gestures must be automated in the Akar app and Of course aren't exposed to home kit. So that means you have to be automating other Akara products uh, to take advantage of those extra gestures here with the cube. For example, here I set mine up with a simple automation that will put this Akara G3 camera into privacy mode when I shake the cube. So it actually works pretty well, as you can see. Of course, you can control your HomeKit accessories and stuff like that, which we've you know clearly shown um, you know, in, in your office or whatever. But what's even better and what I'm really excited about is using this to control not only my HomeKit scenes, but also Siri shortcuts on my Mac. For those who don't know, shortcuts are basically a quick way to get one or more tasks done with your apps. And the shortcut app comes installed on your Apple devices, including your iPhone, your iPad, and your Mac computer. Now there is a way to use HomeKit accessories to trigger your Mac shortcuts. You will have to use a separate app in order to do this, an app called the Signals for HomeKit app on your Mac. And this basically allows you to configure most of your HomeKit sensors or accessories to trigger any of your Mac shortcuts. Therefore, I can use this new cube since it supports HomeKit to run any of my shortcuts on my Mac. So I'll end up using this cube to, you know, trigger my video editing shortcut. One side will trigger my live streaming shortcut that, you know, will open my streaming software, set my lights and stuff for streaming and put my devices in do not disturb mode. You can configure the cube to start and stop um, you know, your time tracking app on your Mac maybe, or play and pause music on your home pods. Basically control anything that my Mac can do through shortcuts, which is awesome. I'll drop a link to that Signals app in the description below in case you wanna, you know, check that out for yourself. So because of this, I think this cube is really gonna be the perfect desk companion for me. The design looks great for your desk setup and the ability to use it to control any of my HomeKit accessories and my Mac shortcuts is awesome. It's just so much fun to use. I can imagine so many other cool ways that you can use something like this, control other HomeKit scenes in a room, or even set up some fun little games, you know, with the cube and your HomeKit lights and stuff for the kids. That could be a lot of fun. Now with six different sides that can all be configured to control different things, you might have a little trouble remembering you know, what, what you programmed each side for, especially if you have other people using it. And if so, you know, you could probably get a little icon pack of stickers or something like that, or maybe make labels for each side uh, so you know what each side does. Let me know what you guys think about this neat little home kit scene controller. It's definitely a unique uh, product. Could you find a place in your smart home for something like this? And what would you program yours to do? I've got a link down below if you want to pick one up and that limited time discount code. And uh, if you do end up picking up one of these and wondering which Acara hub might be the best for you, then check out this video right here where I cover the different options. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for new videos every Sunday and live streams every Wednesday. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.